Welcome, King James. This is the Serververse. What'd you do to my son? Where's Dom? The only way you're getting your son back is if you and I play a little basketball. You know, I was just thinking, like, everything I've been reading about, about you and LeBron, it just, like, this is not an experience that you right. really have in your field. I mean, I've been very fortunate, and I think it's one thing that we are afforded in this field, is I've had so many experiences with so many great creative people, um, and I just feel very fortunate and very blessed that, you know, this is my job. I just want you to be able to talk about the movie and what you want everybody to know. Well, I haven't seen the movie yet, actually. What are you talking about? I saw LeBron last week and he got a link. I got a link. We both started to watch it and both went, nah, I want to see it like with In an audience. Big screen, and yeah. theater, it was big screen. To forever have your name attached to this film. I'm, I'm just curious what that like, what that moment is like. It's really cool because, you know, when the original film happened, they actually filmed it street from my high school. That was the one day I didn't show up, right? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, it would have been so awesome. And I think it's cool that so many years later, uh, I was given this opportunity and it's kind of like I got my, I finally got my closure. I have heard a rumor, and I don't know if it's true or not, that, that you not only can voice Speedy Gonzalez, but uh, many other characters uh, from this film, the Looney Tunes. Oh yeah, I told him, I says, don't think that just because I'm Mexican, I can only voice Speedy Gonzalez. I says, you want Marvin the Martian, you know? Oh my, my modulator. You want Yosemite Sam? Ah, hi there, rabbit. You want Bugs Bunny? What's up, Doc? Porky Pig? Yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the picture. You gotta win this game. Let's end this. Got you, Brock. And get our son back. I'm sure you've told this story a million times, but I'm so genuinely curious about when you did find out that you were going to be playing his son. He was somebody I always looked up to uh, as a leader on and off the court. So being in a movie with him, uh, I couldn't have asked for anything more. And this is a movie that meant so much to so many people and it will mean so much to so many new people. So I'm just like curious for you, you know, now being a part of another legacy, you know, how is that? It's, it's incredible. And I, I, I love what you just said in your lips to God's ears. I really, I really hope that it becomes, um, you know, a classic in the same way that the original was, because I think it speaks to this generation in such a beautiful, poignant way. Oh, and I almost forgot. All of the tunes will be deleted, so. Can we compare the Goon Squad to a, a, another team? God, I don't know. I mean, our Goon Squad is so deep. If we don't win, I think that we need to go back to the tape. I think maybe the judges were paid off if, if our team doesn't win. 24 seconds on the clock. Tell everybody why they should go see Space Jam, A New Legacy. It's entertaining. I think I haven't seen it. It's fun. It's dynamic. It's interesting. Great music, I hear. Uh, great acting, I believe. It's a classic tale, but with a modern twist. Something you can expect is uh, love, laughs, and uh, Looney Tunes. You got to watch it. And uh, listen for me. If you if you don't hear me, that's because I did a good job. Space Jam: A New Legacy is playing in theaters and streaming on HBO Max.